how to install a circuit breaker. Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Pauli. I have been an electrician for nearly nine years and I have over 9,000 hours of experience in the residential, commercial, and industrial fields. So coming to you today on, on just trying to give you the best tip I can on how to install a breaker. Um, main thing is, is you want to match the breaker up to the panel you have, the make. Um, whether it's square D or whatever else and the only two major differences between uh, breakers is typically they're either snap-in or they're screw-in that is it the biggest concern though is not shocking yourself or being electrocuted while attempting this make absolutely sure I cannot stress this enough <laughs> Make absolutely sure that the power to the panel has been disconnected or shut off completely. You do not want to take a chance on getting shocked or electrocuted. Anyways, and on a side note, I like I said, I have been an electrician for nine years, working several different in all the different industries, fields, and with a few different companies. And for the most part, while I was going through my apprenticeship, it was my choice to go and try out the different fields out there to get the variety of experiences. But the most recent event that happened to me with a job, and I was I was actually really happy that it happened, but I, I would think that for most of you out there, you wouldn't be happy if this happened. So I, I hope you, I hope I can help you become prepared. I woke up to a phone call one morning saying that the very secure place that I was employed at, me as a one of two electricians on an evening shift at a big plant building camps for remote locations out in oil and gas fields and we're talking about big camps, you know, projects that you know take us anywhere from 6 months to a year and a half to build. Um when the gas and oil prices dropped I didn't think I was going to be directly effective affected especially because of the position I had but yeah I woke up to a phone call one morning saying we can't afford you anymore um, come and get your stuff that's it you're done and in in order to help you be as prepared as possible I want to direct you and guide you and don't I don't want this happen to you especially if you have a family that you're supporting Typically, even just being an employee and working, you know, 40, 50, 60 hours a week or whatever, no matter what, it's always hard making ends meet. And I just want to help you prepare the best you can. Click on one of the links in the description below or directly underneath this video for some free information on how to prepare for the inevitable. I wish you all the best. Take care.